on, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kevin Jackwitz. This is the Cage Review, and this is going to be a review for WWE SmackDown for 6 18 19. Still trying to catch up, trying to do it as fast as I can. So, here we go, right into it. We start out with a promo between the New Day and Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler had attacked Xavier Woods a few days ago, or a week ago, actually. And, uh, you know, he had started this feud with Kofi Kingston that was going back and forth. That leads into a match with Dolph Ziggler versus Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods trying to exact some revenge. Doesn't work out that well. Uh, fairly decent match. It was definitely entertaining. Dolph Ziggler comes out on top. From there, you get a backstage bit with the B team and Shelton Benjamin. They're both talking about all wanting to be referee for this Baron Corbin Seth Rollins fight. And Shelton Benjamin says, We all know Baron Corbin's trying to use us. This is me trying to use him. Um, and then Matt Hardy comes out of an RF office, looks at Shelton Benjamin, and says, Good luck. And I don't know what that was all about, honestly. Then you get a moment of bliss. She's got Nikki Cross there with her. Alexa Bliss does. And they interview Bailey. Um, really, I don't know that this went anywhere for me, to be very honest. I wasn't really that pulled in. Um, Bailey, as far as promos goes, she's kind of weak at times. She really is. I really like Bailey. I especially like her in-ring work. But sometimes when you just put a mic in her hand, it's, it's a little tough. So it is what it is. Um, after that, you get a backstage bit where Apollo Crews is in an interview. He's a, uh, interrupted by Zelina Vega. And then out of nowhere, Andrade comes out and just attacks him, waylays him, beats him down. Um, after that, you get B-Team versus Heavy Machinery. Uh, and you got Daniel Bryan and Rowan on commentary. And um, Heavy Machinery kind of make quick work of the B-Team, honestly. I'm not a big fan of Heavy Machinery. I think they're goofy as hell. I don't like the gimmick at all. Um, but after the match, Seth Rollins comes out, still doing the same thing from yesterday, Monday, when he was attacking anybody who said they wanted to referee for the Baron Corbin match. He's got a chair. He attacks the B-team. There you go. So they're continuing on with that storyline. I like it. After that, Shane O'Mac arrives in a limo. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn kind of cut him off. And they're, you know... Uh, saying that you know Seth Rollins is a bad guy, and um, I forget who else they were talking about. Oh, Kofi Kingston, and they were saying you know they're both bad guys. So Shane McMahon's like, well, if they're both bad guys, go handle bad guys. You guys got a match tonight with them. So apparently it's going to be Owens and Zayn versus Kingston and Rollins. So after that, you get an Alistair Black promo, and I liked his promos. I thought they were decent. I didn't think they were great. But you were definitely building up to something, and we found out later what that something was. It was pretty cool. I liked it. After that, uh, you get Shane McMahon comes out with Drew McIntyre and Elias. Um, they're kind of doing a celebration thing. Miz interrupts. He cuts a promo against Shane McMahon. And um, so Shane McMahon kind of sets up a match with him. And R-Truth was around ringside doing his 24-7 thing. And so he makes a match with Miz and R-Truth versus Drew McIntyre and Elias. I wasn't really too big on this, to be very honest. Uh, then you get the Iconics, uh, Asuka, Kairi Sane, and Paige. They all have a backstage bit. Um, the Iconics are trying to dodge these Kabuki Warriors. I hate that name. And it basically ends with Paige slapping Billy Kay and... That's all it really comes to. So then you get The Miz and R-Truth versus Drew McIntyre and Elias. And you already kind of know what's going to happen. Drew McIntyre, Elias is going to go over. Make Shane McMahon look like the tyrant. That's what it does. I, I don't know, man. Shane McMahon was already wearing thin back then. So thankfully, we're already working him out of the picture nowadays. Which is very cool. Uh, then you get Ember Moon, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville. They have a backstage bit where Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville can't decide whether they want to fuck with Carmella or Ember Moon. Uh, none, none of it really made sense at this point. Like, this was still when wrestling programs were complete chaos, which, you know, this one was still kind of feeling like that. Um, then Carmella, which was actually Drake Maverick dressed as Carmella. Uh, attacks R-Truth out in the parking lot, actually wins a 24-7 belt and drives off. 
they our truth has had some very entertaining bits with Jinder Mahal, Drake Maverick, uh, quite a few people, honestly. And uh, it's worked out pretty damn well so far. Uh, I really like it. So that leads you to the main event, Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston versus Kevin Owens. And Sami Zayn, two out of three falls. I don't know why everything lately at this point was two out of three falls, but it was. Uh, Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston take the win, and there you go. And they both stand tall in the ring at the end of the night. Uh, this one was definitely not as strong as Raw was. Um, if you have to make the comparison, it was actually pretty damn weak. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. It was starting to lean towards focusing on some storylines and character development, things like that. But it just wasn't there yet. It was still too chaotic. It was still utilizing too many people that nobody cared about. And so I just feel like it was, you know, middle of the road at best. So 5 out of 10, that's what I'm going to give this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackowitz, Cage Nation, out. <laughs>